Ladies and gentlemen, while many of us are distracted by world events, I'm having a hard time keeping up with what's happening in the shadows. Things that happen in the dark, those things are secret. I'm talking about things that they still present to us, but we aren't paying attention. They slip by us, mainly because we are too busy focusing on other issues, such as the economy, COVID, the election, finances, etc. So while we are distracted by these things, they are doing a bunch of other things on the side as quickly as possible in hopes no one will notice. So, you know, they've been digging up mummies in Egypt for uh, as long as I can remember. So it has become sort of a routine thing for them over there. I'll tell you, you couldn't get me to step one foot over there on that land. Not one. You know, there are places in the world that when you go there, you risk your sanity and you risk your life. You can become instantly psychotic. You can get violently ill. Most of these places, luckily for us, are too hard to get to. And some are blocked off. Anyway, they've recently dug up a boatload of sarcophagi in Egypt. I'm telling you, the elite are reckless. They will do things and give no freaks about it, knowing the consequences, because quite frankly, they deal with the dark side on a regular basis. This is something we are not used to. They are. It's not about science. It's not about the preservation of antiquity and a fancy coffin. It's what's on the inside that counts. Egypt unveils scores of ancient coffins, statues found in Sakra. Egyptian officials have announced the discovery of at least 100 ancient coffins, some with mummies inside, and some 40 gilded statues in a vast pharaonic necropolis south of the capital Cairo. Colorful, sealed sarcophagi and statues that were buried more than 2,500 years ago were displayed on Saturday in a makeshift exhibit at the feet of the famed Steppe Pyramid of Dozier at Saqqara. Archaeologists opened the coffin with a well-preserved mummy wrapped in cloth inside. They also carried out x-raying visualizing the structures of the ancient mummy, showing how the body had been preserved. Okay, so according to this article, they have found over 140 sealed sarcophagi in the same area, most of them having mummies inside them. They found some gilded statues as well. Now, right off, the very first thing I want to point out is the size of these sarcophagi. You know, I can't stand these scientists over there when they present these finds. We have found the perfect artifact, perfectly preserved. The beautiful sarcophagi are in perfect condition. The mummy inside is perfectly preserved in preservatives. Yeah, I'm talking about Waziri. Go look, that's how he talks. The Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities. Not the regular council, the Supreme Council. So you know they're serious. Anyway, I want you to notice the size of the sarcophagi. Now, looking at them, your first thought would probably be, well... It looks like they buried a bunch of young people or even children. But you know what? They opened one up, x-ray scanned it. They said the mummy was someone that was 42 years of age. A coffin was opened during the press conference and the mummy inside was scanned with an x-ray. The examination revealed that the mummy was a man who was in good health before he died between the age of 40 and 45, according to Mustafa Waziri. 
Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities. These are the sarcophagi of priests and high-ranking officials, yet these are small sarcophagi. It's so funny. You can watch the footage of them opening these things up. And what's on the inside? A mummy that is three quarters the size of the already small sarcophagus. And I'm supposed to believe that this is a grown person. Well, that's because it's not a person. Or should I say human? Show us the body. They've already desecrated the grave site. I mean, whatever happened to respecting the dead? Nah, forget about that. Just dig them all up. Put them all on display. We need the money. Well, just call these mummies humanoid for now. Isn't it interesting how Waziri knows so much about something that they've just discovered? The reason is they already know about what they're digging up ahead of time. Because they have scanning equipment that can see what's buried. And don't be fooled, folks. You can see that the sarcophagi they opened have been opened already and then resealed. One of the other reasons I know that the reveal is faked is because of biohazards. There is no way you are going to open up one of those sarcophagi that's been sealed for hundreds and hundreds of years in front of me. You have a sealed sarcophagi with a body inside that is releasing gases. And God knows what. You pop that sarcophagus open, it's like opening a fresh can of death. And you know something is not right with Waziri. He has his face and nose all in it, taking deep breaths. Ah, the smell of death. Perfectly preserved. <laughs> Sometimes there is radioactivity at these sites. They seem to have a problem with radioactive radon gas. Waziri... You know how many ghosts this guy must have in his bedroom? Here's something interesting published by National Geographic. Egypt's King Tut curse caused by tomb toxins? Shortly after the young pharaoh's tomb was opened, one of the attendees died. Were ancient pathogens to blame? Recent laboratory studies have revealed that some ancient mummies do indeed carry mold, including at least two potentially dangerous species, Aspergillus niger and Aspergillus flavus. These molds can cause allergic reactions ranging from congestion to bleeding in the lungs. The toxins can be particularly harmful for people with weakened immune systems. Some tomb walls may also be covered with respiratory assaulting bacteria like Pseudomonas and Staphylococcus. Scientists have also detected ammonia gas, formaldehyde, and hydrogen sulfide inside sealed sarcophagi. In strong concentrations, they could cause burning in the eyes and nose, pneumonia-like symptoms, and in very extreme cases, death. Bats inhabit many excavated tombs, and their droppings carry a fungus that can cause the influenza-like respiratory disease histoplasmosis. Under the right conditions, such hazards could prove deadly. You know, the reality is there is no telling what they could have unleashed by doing this. The last thing we need is some ancient Egyptian bug floating around. As for the bodies, they do find other beings. Anyone ever hear of the bird mummy? They found this mummy some time ago, a very small mummy. So small they thought it was a mummified bird, like a falcon. They have come across these before, so they thought nothing of it and initially did not scan it. In 2018, they did scan it, and they found what they said was a human male fetus. Now, if you've ever seen the skeleton of a human fetus, it looks like an alien. But even the scientists who have studied it say that the head is very strange malformed. They have no clue what happened, or even if it was part of ritual magic. On the basis of the highest resolution scan of a fetal mummy ever made, we've been able to determine this individual was severely anencephalic. It would have been a stillbirth. It would not have lived through birth. 
Nelson said back in 2018. The whole top part of his skull isn't formed. The arches of the vertebrae of his spine haven't closed. His ear bones are at the back of his head. He's also a rarity. One of only eight known mummified fetuses and only the second ever discovered with anencephaly. The first was discovered in 1826, nearly 200 years ago. No others have been found since, until EA 493. The way the remains were preserved mean his family regarded him as special. You know, they have only found eight of these fetus mummies and out of eight... Two of them have deformities like this. Now, I don't know about you, but those are some pretty creepy odds. There are sites like this in Iran and Turkey that have these gas problems, but they don't like to mention the energetic anomalies they find at these sites as well. The real crazy stuff is underground, often at times underneath these monumental structures. I've said this before, October, November are months for high spiritual activity. And it is not a coincidence that they have these types of events going on at this time. The election, the launch, these mummies, Samhain. I have a lot more to cover this weekend. Stay tuned. Be sure to visit woodwardentertainment.com. Check out the Woodward Entertainment store. Stay away from mummies, folks. And always stay awake, stay aware, stay safe. And I'll talk to you all soon.